Howdy y'all and welcome back. Five tips to conserve ammo at the handgun range. This was a Patreon supporter uh, request and it's definitely a topic that has come up multiple times in my Facebook gun group. So definitely a topic worth discussing. Before we jump into it, thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you're a regular viewer and you're not supporting yet, you're wrong. Also, this is a great one to share with your friends. Hit those like buttons, and if you're not already subscribed, please do. All right, let's get into it. Tip number one. So, first of all, before this is like before even tip one, <laughs> I make a habit of loading my magazines five rounds a piece, generally. Even if it's a 10 or 15 or 17 or 22 round magazine, I generally load five. It's partly because I'm kind of OCD and the, they come out of the package in rows of five. Uh, but even if it's a, like one of my hand load boxes, it still just slows me down. Putting five in the magazine, then you have to change mags, just slows down the experience. To stand there and just static fire 10 rounds, it's kind of dumb. Maybe not dumb, but it's less productive. So you want to maximize your productivity with the amount of ammo that you have. So tip one, <laughs> shooting from compressed ready. Let's take a look. All right, so what you'll notice there is that I am moving very deliberately, slowly. <laughs> I am not being speed racer guy. Now I'm shooting at a very fuddy range. Uh, they have a no shooting from the draw rule and a one second interval between shots rule. So I'm, I'm not, Pressing out is, I'm not coming out as fast as I can. I'm making a nice, deliberate, slow and steady press the shot. I'm also not looking for perfect sight picture. I'm picking up a flash sight picture, meaning I see the front sight post inside of the rear notch and I press. At that particular clip you're watching, I'm shooting at 20 yards and everything was in a 12 inch circle. So, compressed ready. You're bringing the weapon in, out, pick up sight picture, and press. Make sure and work that trigger finger as you come in, get the finger off the trigger. I start bringing it in and on as I'm extending so that by the time I'm extended, I'm ready to press. Compressed ready. Tip number two, low ready. Let's take a look at that. Same kind of concept. I'm not moving as quickly as I possibly could. I want to appear safe to the range officers and people around me. So it's just a nice, steady tempo. And I'm just bringing it up, pressing one shot, and down. Maybe bring it up and press two, and down. But the idea is I'm working on picking up the sight picture from a low ready. So I'm not working on perfect trigger press. I'm not working on some of the other fundamentals. What I'm working on is picking up the sight picture and pressing the shot quickly. So even though I'm moving kind of slowly, once I get the sight picture, I'm pressing the shot. I hope that conveys. <laughs> All right, so we've got compressed ready, got low ready. Next, one-handed shooting, something like this. Oh. 
All right, so tip number four, mag changes. Now, mag changes can be a little tricky, especially if you're at an indoor range where you have a wall, and if your magazines go across that wall, feelings will be hurt. <laughs> totally get that. What I do at an indoor range is a little technique I picked up years ago. I'll fire, 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 hit slide lock. I'll have a magazine staged on the shooting table bring the weapon down, very carefully drop the magazine, pick up the fresh magazine, insert it, and proceed. You can load one, have one in your spare mag. So load it, shoot, one, and one. That's gonna slow you down and you're working that mag change. Now, my outdoor range, my usual range, they don't allow practicing from the draw, but they do allow changing magazines off the belt. So I go ahead and take advantage of that. Now it's an outdoor range, it has little shooting tables, and then it has kind of a free space where you walk down to go change your target. So if I, drop a magazine on like in front of the firing line. I use a selfie stick to reach out and pull it back. <laughs> so a little pro tip from your uncle Wildo. So if you can do mag changes from the belt, awesome. Same thing though, as the other drills work slowly. Don't be speed racer guy and fumble your shit. That will not impress anyone and it might get you invited to leave. So work at a tempo that you're confident with where you're not going to have an accident or fuck up. So, you know, something, you're boom, uh, you're boom, boom, and go. Nice and steady. You're working those fundamentals. You, nobody cares. Nobody cares how fast you are. Be solid, steady and solid. All right, and the fifth tip, and this is one seems often overlooked, is I'll just go no magazine, press out, some dry fire at the live fire range. There's something different about doing dry fire at a live fire range for me. You've got the sound of the other people's guns going off. You've got eyeballs kind of intermittently passing by, whatever. It's not my garage. It's not my bedroom. The target is different for some reason. It just, it's a different dynamic than practicing dry fire at home. Also, if you've fired a handful of live rounds and you're like me and you start to get a little flinchy, it's a good way to debug what you're doing and kind of hit the reset button and get back into a perfect sight picture, perfect grip, perfect trigger press, pull it all together, get into your feet, you know, just slow down and reset everything, then go ahead and go back to your live fire. And now the one exception, uh, I have one of my indoor ranges charges like by time. <laughs> so I tend not to want to waste that time doing a whole lot of dry fire, but I will do some. It just takes a few seconds to just bang out five or 10 dry fire presses and just kind of reset your bio rhythms. So if, if you're like me and you get flinchy after a while, it'll just kind of reset everything and help remind your body what the press is supposed to be like. So there you go. Five tips to help slow your butt down at the range and conserve ammo in ammo apocalypse 2020. <laughs> I hope these help. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. And again, please like and share and subscribe and do all the things. Until next time, be easy y'all. <laughs>